Today we're talking about something that allows you to not only bring home automation to life, but also add security to your home, sensors. Today we're going to talk about one specific brand of sensors, Acara, as it's my personal favorite and quite literally 100% of the sensors that I currently use are from Acara. It's worth noting though, Acara did not sponsor this video, nor did they send me any of the products in this video. If you're not familiar with Acara, they make some of the best smart home devices on the market and their sensors are no exception. Today we're going to take a look at the benefits of Acara sensors and how you can use them to increase both the security and the automation of your home. All right, so let's start by taking a look at some of my personal favorite sensors that Acara offers. First up, we have the door and window sensor. This sensor is designed to detect when a door or window is opened or closed. It's incredibly useful for home security and it can alert you if someone tries to break in. It can even be integrated with other smart home devices like lights or cameras to create a more robust security system. Next, we have the Acara motion sensor. This sensor is obviously designed to detect movement in a room. It's perfect for automating things like lights or triggering notifications for areas you want to closely monitor. Another sensor I love is the vibration sensor. Now this one is designed to detect vibrations such as those caused by a door or a window being broken. This is another excellent sensor for home security and it can alert you if someone is attempting to break in. But you can also use these for automations. For example, you could put one on your dining room table to detect if someone sits down or sets something down on the table for a meal and then turn on your dining room lights at dinner time. And last but not least, the game changer for smart home automations, the Acara FP2 Presence Sensor. Now the introduction of the FP2 Presence Sensor is a significant leap forward in the smart home automation game. Honestly, I think this is the future of smart homes and I could see this completely replacing motion sensors in the future. Using a millimeter wave sensor, it detects micro movements like breathing to determine your presence down to where in the room you are at which is also important because with this sensor, a car introduced zone detection, meaning you can specify specific areas of the room for control of different devices. The automation possibilities are truly endless with this thing, and I could see myself putting one of these in every main area in the house at some point. Now, let's talk about the benefits of using a car sensors for both security and automation. Let's start with security. A car sensors allow you to create a comprehensive security system for your home. You can set up sensors on doors and windows and receive alerts if someone tries to break in. Plus, you can integrate these sensors with other smart home devices like your lights to create a more robust system that can help deter burglars and alert you if a break-in occurs. And when it comes to automation, as we've already discovered, Acara sensors can make your life a whole lot easier. By using sensors to trigger automations, you can create a home that responds to your every move. Walk in the kitchen at night, lights come on. If you walk out, lights go off. And the best part, Acara sensors are incredibly affordable and very easy to set up. Easily one of the least expensive ecosystems to buy into and when you get your new sensors, all you need to do is attach the sensor to the surface you want to monitor and connect it to your Acara hub. From there, you can use the Acara app or natively integrate them into your smart home platform of choice to set up automations and receive alerts. All right, let me give you a few examples of how you can use the Acara sensors to create some cool automations. So I'm a HomeKit user, so we'll be focusing on HomeKit, but for the last automation, I'll just use the Acara app. First up, let's say you have a door and window sensor installed on your front door. You can set up an automation to turn on your porch light when the sensor detects the door has been opened. So after you've added your sensor, it's as easy as creating a new automation in HomeKit and selecting the device you want to use as your trigger.
Then you select the device you want to trigger, in this case my front porch light, and then you select the specific time frame that you want, but for this example we'll just leave it as always. And I will select to turn off after 10 minutes. Now when I open my front door, the front porch light turns on, and then after 10 minutes it turns off. Alright, for another example, let's say you have a motion sensor installed in your hallway like I do. You can set up an automation to turn on the lights when the sensor detects motion. And similar to our door automation, after two minutes, the lights can turn off, giving us plenty of time to pass through. Now, if this was an area you would spend more time in, you could set up a presence sensor instead and tell it when presence is not detected turn off the lights. Since we're using a motion sensor, let's go ahead and set this up. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to HomeKit and we're going to click Add and Add Automation. We're going to choose a sensor detect something and we're going to find our hallway motion sensor. Mine is in the foyer, so we're going to select motion sensor in the foyer. We're going to say detects motion. We're going to leave it as any time and people off. Then we're going to go to our foyer lights. We're going to select that. We're going to say turn on. And then I'm going to say turn off after two minutes. Gives us plenty of time to walk through the hallway. And that's it. You've now set up a brand new automation that will turn your hallway lights on when you pass through. All right, and for our final automation, let's say you want a vibration sensor to turn on the dining room lights when you sit down at the dining room table for dinner. First, you're going to simply set up your vibration sensor in the Acara app like you would with any other sensor. And then you're going to want to put the sensor under the table. You can use a sticky pad, or I like to use command strips on all my sensors so it's easy to remove and you don't remove anything from the surface that you're taking it off of. Now, because my dining room light is on an Acara switch, I'm going to show you how to do this in the Acara app. It's also going to make it much faster and more responsive that way. So we'll go into our Acara app, tap Automations at the bottom, tap Add Automation at the top, and then follow the prompts from here. So under If, we're going to go ahead and add our vibration sensor. And then under Then, we'll go ahead and select our dining room light. We'll say Turn On. We can now trust that our dining room light will turn on when we set a plate down for dinner. And using the Acara Presence Sensor, we can even have the light turn off when we're all away from the dining room table. That way we're not depending on a sensor to detect vibration the entire time. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless when it comes to using Acara sensors for automation. And when you combine that with the added security benefits, it's easy to see why Acara sensors are such a great investment for your smart home. So there you have it guys, that's the power of Acara sensors. If you're interested in any of the products that I mentioned in this video, links will be in the description for you to grab those. They are affiliate link, so I do get kickback, but it does not change the price for you at all. So make sure you hit those links if you want any of the products I mentioned in this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.